Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Continuation of the chest imaging made easy course lectures. Today lectures is about the atelectasis and collapse. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم آمين وأجمعين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين Volume loss in the lung spans of appearances ranging from mysterious atelectasis to collapse of the lobe or entire lobe. What is the difference between atelectasis and collapse? They are the same and they are interchangeable terms meaning diminished loss of volume. The most common cause of the at lobar atelectasis is a bronchial obstruction, which may be due to mucous blood inhaled foreign body, endobronchial tumors, extrinsic compression of the bronchus by tumor, lymphadenopathy, or other mass lesion. Atelectasis may does not involve the entire lobe. Small areas of the lung may be affected, and this is caused by relaxation of passive atelectasis due to space occupying lesion, like a pneumothorax, pleural effusion, or mass lesion. See, catheterization atelectasis is due to volume loss due to fibrotic lung disease. Under expansion of the lung due to many causes like including brain, chest wall abnormalities, diaphragmatic weakness. Adhesive atelectasis complex due to insufficient production of surfactant factor, especially in the neonate and seen also in respiratory distress syndrome of the adult and in <clears throat> clinical presentation may be present with dyspnea can be sudden if rapid onset of lobar atelectasis can present with cyanosis and chest pain the physician should look for chest expansion. It is reduced or absent. The trachea and the heart are deviated toward the affected side. Doneness to percussion over the involved area and reduced or absent breath sound. Imaging signs of atelectasis or collapse we have direct sign and we have indirect sign. The direct signs are displacement of the fissure or fissures within the involved lung. Second, a crowding of the bronchovascular structure. Indirect signs of atelectasis or collapse include increased lung obesity or attenuation, mediastinal shift toward the affected lung, compensatory hyperinflation of the adjacent lung parenchyma, high lung displacement, elevation of the epsilateral diaphragm, and other, displace, other indirect sign of juxtaphrenic beak sign associated primarily with an upper lobe collapse and loft shield sign 
seen in the left lobe lobe collapse. What we see is summarized, what we see in the blame frame, displacement of the fissure and oversified of the collapsed lobe, displacement of the hilum, the left hilum is usually at least one centimeter high, higher than the right hilum in normal chest X-ray, mediastinal shift to the collapse, loss of volume, compensatory, high velocity of the remaining lobes. On the CT scan, we see the direct and indirect signs on the blame frame and important role in detecting of the underlying lung tumors or other causes of bronchial obstruction. In the nuclear medicine, especially the bed CT scan, it is useful in detecting further sites of the disease if malignancy has been confirmed. Let us see some examples of the lung collapse or atelectasis. Here we have a classic example of left upper lobe atelectasis. As we see here in this patient, we have veiling of the of the left lung with ossification and obliteration of the left cardiac border with elevation of the left hemidiaphragm and observing the arch and the descending aorta outline. Here, this is another patient with left upper lobe collapse due to a tumor invading the mediastinum, and this is the left upper lobe collapse. And this is the tumor invading the mediastinum. Here we have left lower lobe collapse showing the shifting to the left high lump and we have increased triangular obesity looks like a cell of the left lower collapse. Can you remember the second sign of left lower lobe collapse? Here, this is a patient with left lower lobe collapse with low density at the hilum and it is immediately shifted to the toward the spine. Here, patient with left with, sorry, with right of a low collapse with golden sign due to mass lesion here and see the minor fissure is elevated with its shape. Here, the same patient with right of a low collapse with the CT scan and the mass lesion and the patient ha also has a right-sided blower fusion. Here, this is a classic example of middle lobe collapse, as we see here, with triangular in shadow with base extended uh, toward the high lamp and the apex, and the apex of the triangular toward the, toward the periphery. And here, the lateral view, we see the minor fissure and the major fissure, how it is displaced in the collapse and the collapse in between them. Here, this is patient with right lower, uh, right lower lobe collapse, as we see triangular shadow retrocardiac region with increased density. Here, the set the CT scan coronary reconstruction of this patient with the collapse of the right lower lobe and it is immediately uh, deviated to, toward the spine. Here 
this patient with uh, platelet plate like atelectasis, as we see by lateral lines, opacification at the lung bases, bowling to the diaphragm. And there is also some pleural, minimal pleural fusion on the left side. Here, this round atelectasis in patient with asbestosis, as we see the left lung mass abutting the pleura with comet tail, comet tail, uh, uh, comet tail of bronchovascular marking, marking or extending to the mass. Here, how we differentiate between the pneumonia and atelectasis. Can we differentiate? Yes, we can differentiate with, with CT scan as in this patient. We have little enhancement in the CT scan in, of this patient on the right lower lobe, obesity, and marked enhancement of the left one. And here, this is a pneumonia. It, patient with pneumonia due with pneumonia and here patient with uh, collapse due to crowding of the blood vessels. Here patient with a pneumonectomy as we see o o total opacification of the left hemithorax with multiple surgical waves and the trachea is shifted to the to the, uh, to the left side and compensatory in high bulb inflation of the right lung. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika shadu an la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu laik.